Monkey Jungle played a big part of my childhood. And now we've returned to see the monkeys, the rainforest, and the Moldoramas. Today, I'm very excited about giving you a behind the scenes tour of the rainforest at Monkey Jungle. So, so Janine, why are you wearing a mask? Because monkeys can get COVID too, so I mm -hmm. want to protect them. So now we're going into the rainforest, into the wilderness of Monkey Jungle. Here they come to okay, oh, so that's the monkey that might jump on us. Yeah. Oh, God. I might, I gotta be careful though. Oh, okay. This is cool. The rainforest itself was done in the 50s. Um, they brought native plants from South America and trees, and it was just a canopy. You could not see the sky in here uh -huh. when, you, when you walked in here by the 80s. Unfortunately, Hurricane Andrew, 1992 Category 5 hurricane, wiped all that out. Um, and then unfortunately, we got hit again in with Hurricane Irma back in 2017. Oh. We started doing these tours about, uh, I believe, about 10 years ago. Oh, okay, it's recent. Okay. Oh, I saw something moving. Well, Janine, there's our first monkey. Hi, little guy. Oh, my God. Jim, don't scream. I know. The best way to get a monkey on you is if you go watch that right here and okay. put the tray like this. Mm -hmm. okay. Monkeys are going to come from I behind. Trying, now, the monkeys will come because this Take is their the dinner platter. Oh, look how sweet. Look at that. Oh, it's right there. Oh my god, Jim, is this the coolest Janine, thing? Oh my god, you're being attacked by monkeys, oh Janine. You have a mom oh, with a baby. Right oh, my oh my god, this is incredible. Oh. Is it scary with those monkeys? No, it got cute. Oh, honey, you have no idea how many monkeys you are having on you. This is. I guess if you have 20 people, I you had, don't get as many monkeys. I, uh, I am pleasantly oh, surprised. Oh my god. Do you want to try? I, I will after this. I got, I got to. Yeah. Oh I my gosh. I hope I don't freak. Oh my gosh, Jim. This is, you just got to stand still and ignore it. Are they like crawling all over me? Okay, turn around and hold it with two hands. Hey guys. Oh my God, I had monkeys all over me. Let's see, can he climb up on your shoulder? Oh my gosh. This is the wildest thing, Jim. Oh my God. <laughs> This, oh, look at the little baby over there on the mama's back. Oh. Yeah, he said hold it with two hands, oh, Jim, because that's okay. knocking uh, over. Oh, you know, okay. oh he's, he's, he's look at mama with the babies. They came on he, me. You know, you know he's a communication oh, look at little guy. Oh, my God. I, I was looking for a thumbnail. <laughs> Jim, just Oh, my God. Keep oh, this is incredible. Oh, he's eating on your shoulder, Jim. Oh, here comes the mama with the baby. You see it, Jim? Look. Oh, I can't believe a little baby. Oh my gosh, Jim, this is the what? This is the most bizarre thing I've ever uh, done. This is better than swimming with the dolphins. Good. Oh my gosh. Do they come and pick what they like best? Like I, got the I got a friend on my shoulder. Oh, we got two. Yeah. Here, look at them. You should see them climbing down, like Jim. They're going to dump us real soon when we run out of food, I think. So when Eddie Hello. was telling me, I thought we were going to be just walking and monkeys just going to jump all over us. You this know? is I didn't realize they were coming for food. Oh, look at the one with the baby, Jim, on oh. my, my arm. Wow. Look, I love when they sit on your shoulder. so cute. Look how cute they are. Wow. Oh, look, Jim. What? Look at the baby. Oh, my God. He's... Oh, my God. How, how long do these monkeys live for? So that's a great question. Um, mm -hmm. In the wild, they'll be lucky to reach double digits. Mm -hmm. uh, squirrel monkeys live about uh, 10 to 15 years. Oh, wow. And how many do you have here? Roughly 150. That one's nursing on the mother. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, oh, he's going on my head. He's going to go on my head. He didn't do it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, let me just take it. You, you, I don't care. If he goes, I'll let him go. Oh, Jim, he's on my head. Oh, God. Look at them on the little. Oh, Janine, you got him on your head and stuff. <laughs> this is so insane. Oh, they know where the food is. Ah! Okay, I can't hold. These guys are getting heavy. Hey, Jean, look for me. It's not easy to it's look a, a, okay, okay. I got monkeys okay, all over look, look at me and oh, Janine, the... smile, please. Come on, just smile. Smile with your eyes. This is good. Smile with your eyes. You got those beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> and I also got 20 monkeys on me. Exactly, Woo! okay. It... That is so cool. So oh, my God. Females have black heads. 
Uh -huh. Feet in the male, so mm -hmm. they have light like, gray heads. That's the easiest mm -hmm. way to set them apart. Sure. Did you expect? No, I did not. Uh, the babies right now uh, are between like three weeks and a month and a half. And they're going to be on, they're gonna be on mom's back for about three to four months. You would think they would hurt, and they're very gentle on you. Right, the little feet. Some of little human ones. Yeah. Oh. Look behind you, Jim. Here comes one. You see him? He's right behind you. He's coming in. Mm -hmm. Now, are they doing a hierarchy too? So nothing uh, like the job of a cax. And here, the females are the more dominant ones. And I've been here for about uh, six and a half years. Oh, you've been here a long time. I was just kidding. This is the best, Jim. Do you see him just sitting mm -hmm. there? Oh, he jumped down. And again, this is just snack time for them. Uh, they'll get them, they get breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they get this snack time three times a day. Mm -hmm. When the cup and the visitors come. Are they hungriest now because it's their first one? Well, they already had breakfast, actually. Right, but do they get less, or they're always they're, like to they're, eat? They're like our custom. dog. Correct. They're our, dog will eat. our dog will eat whenever you feed him. So usually this gets shared among the 20 mm -hmm. people? Correct. Well, we, we, we take several several bins with us for more people. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so monkeys eat like a healthy diet. Correct. So again, they, they don't eat like meat eat. or fish or anything? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's just a mix of fresh fruits, mm -hmm. veggies, and mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, a mix of uh, Jim, monkey look at my food. my foot. There's mama with baby on my foot. Mm -hmm. You see him? Don't look at my foot. Yeah. Oh, look at the baby. I was looking for the baby again, actually. Thank you. There's a bunch of babies. Hello. They are the sweetest little thing. Hey, Eddie. Can children come to the rainforest, or is yes. this too so scary for him? We do recommend. All ages are, are welcome. We do uh -huh. recommend the sure. ages of three and oh, up. Oh, he's getting mad. Um, and he mm -hmm. The younger ones tend to. Three and up. Not okay. sure how they're sure. going to react with, with mm -hmm. monkeys around them. But yeah, we do recommend mm -hmm. the ages three and up. Sure. Younger. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I can't. So they're that's, fighting. That's, that's just. Uh, Mm -hmm. They started fighting over the food. Within each other, yeah. I saw them. One was, he was kind of mm -hmm. slapping them. They are the cutest things I've ever seen. Okay. Okay. You said now you feed monkeys dried fruit. Dried fruit. Because people have peanut allergies and there's well, it leaves the mess of shells all over the place. So it's yeah, kind of interesting. It's been okay. a couple of years. So what we're going to get to do now is just get to feed the monkeys in the okay, original great. concept mm -hmm, uh, where good. humans are caged and monkeys run wild. Mm -hmm. this. So you're going to get that monkey food and just go ahead and pour it into one of the cups. Okay, where is it? Give it a little jiggle. You're going to do the honors. Oh, I see a monkey coming toward you, Janine. Okay. There's one up there at okay, about 12 o'clock. Come. come on, little guy. Hello. I love the way Oh, look, he's, look pulling he's pulling the monkey thing I up. remember the arms pulling it. Ooh, oh, he must be an alpha. So, yes, that's a high ranking monkey that came and pushed the lower ranking mm -hmm. monkey. Okay. That's interesting. And you're going to see that interesting. they're picking. They're going to pick and choose what they want. What fruits they like best. That's funny. They either leave what they don't like or they're just going to toss it uh, mm -hmm. to the floor. Very nice. Man, kids must love this. So, yeah, oh, so he this, ran this is now. Concept. Is there another higher? Oh, then he's even higher because he ran. Oh, the, now you see the, the same ones we just saw at the water? It can be, but we also have another troop that hangs out. It's the same kind. Yeah, mm -hmm. Is that the same one? He followed me. Here, I'm going to come down here. Hey, little monkey. Okay, I have one right here. Okay, this guy's coming over. Uh-oh. Oh, what do you find? This is he, one's coming. Is he following one. you? Here, let me put some in this one. So I got, I got, you can get. have my food, too, if you want. Yeah. The track is in there. Okay, there's some for you. He's got some over there. Yeah, I'm a teacher. See, I gotta make it fair that we're all different mm -hmm. So Janine, what's it like feeding these monkeys? It's fun. Okay, he's got his. You want more? Oh yeah, your friend's gonna try to steal them. You might kind of elfish. Okay, let me put some. Or it could be a she. Oh, it's a little one. Really? Oh, you he's telling you. 
No, he he was pulling the thing up before you even There's did it. There's still one in there. Oh, okay, so he, he knows what the score. He's looking, though, like right. he's, do you see he's watching? Uh -huh. Yeah. There must be someone around. Uh -huh. So that's a lure ranger. A, yes, you see, he's watching. Yes, to see if someone's mm -hmm. coming. Yeah, you want more? No, did way back when Joe bring all these monkeys back from Africa, or did he ever no, hang he up said there? South Asia. Yeah, they brought six South Asia. South Asia. Okay, so he used to travel to South Asia. He brought six here, and then these are mm -hmm. the descendants of the Okay, interesting family. Oh, uh, here comes somebody else. Yeah. This is the Wild Monkey Swimming Pool. I remember seeing shows here before. So welcome to Monkey Jungle's Wild Swimming Pool. Now we have over 150 macaques in this area. It's over seven acres. Now in a second, I'm gonna ring this bell and start tossing out some fresh fruits for them. Please. <laughs> Look at what she's got, Jen. Pineapples and candles. Oh, that's what they eat. And the eggs, I remember the eggs. Also on the Weight Watchers diet, zero points. <laughs> oh, that's the dinner bell? This is the dinner breakfast bell. Okay, so what you see in front of you are java macaques or crab shrimp eating macaques, also sometimes called long tailed macaques. They get their first name java macaques. There's one waiting right over there. You see them? Oh, look down. up there. Do you see? Yeah, don't come down. He'll come down. You oh, see oh, the way up there. Yeah. yeah, sometimes they wait to see exactly what I'm throwing out. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> there's also an iguana I in there. I saw him earlier. You yeah. see so there's a baby monkey? Yeah, see him up on the stick. He's right there. Oh, way up there, yeah. Yeah. Now, these monkeys were brought here in 1933 by Joseph Dumont, the founder of Monkey Jungle. Joseph wanted to study primate behavior, but he didn't want to keep traveling back and forward to Southeast Asia. As travel in 1933 wasn't exactly easy. You couldn't really get on a flight and go to Southeast Asia. So he decided it would be a great idea to import six of these macaques and release them here in this hammock. And that's exactly what Joseph did. Now, as I mentioned, we have over 150 at the moment, and they are all direct descendants of those six that Joseph brought 85 years ago. What Joseph wanted to study specifically was the dominance hierarchy or the social structure of these macaques which is a dominance hierarchy or a pecking order, almost like a chain of command. So at the top is monkey number one, and that is the alpha and the most dominant in the troop. Beneath him is monkey number two, and then monkey number three, and so on and so forth. Now the alpha has a lot of responsibilities to his troop. It's his job to make sure that if a fight gets out of control, he breaks it up. If someone steps out of line or out of rank, it's his job to put him back in line. And it's his job to ward his troop against outside aggressors predators or other macaque troops in the wild that would be ca uh, large cats like tigers or large snakes. We have four troops here at Monkey Jungle. He's just walking around in the water trying to look for whatever he can. Now because of all that he does for his troop, the alpha has certain privileges. He gets his choice of where to eat, where to sleep, and his first choice of the ladies. There's about 30 to 40 members in this troop. Not all of them are going to show up today. I love how he's sitting. He's sitting no, like a little grown okay, person. So they're coming here. Where are the other troops? The other troops are further down that way. And then you guys are actually going to feed one of the other troops oh that's God. down by the cup to eat right now. Because of that dominance hierarchy, everyone in the troop will get to eat. But there are many that are waiting behind you or waiting on top of us for the VIP, basically, to have their first pick. There oh, is a the little the tiny, tiny baby right it? there. It's on her belly, Jim. It's clinging onto her belly. That baby's probably nursing right now. Oh. That's why it's at the front. Yes, definitely suckling. Oh my gosh, do you see that, Jim? So macaques can live for 20 to 25 years in the wild, but they can live up to 30 years in captivity. We have some 30-year-olds ourselves. Ooh, so they're they, they, they are a hand if he could, shouldn't have grabbed that. So is he the alpha, the one in the front? Yes, that is Burt Reynolds. That's Burt Reynolds, okay. He's got a mustache. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's watching them. Oh, they're up there. Macaques can have six to eight offspring in their lifetime. See how they're chasing that one away? Shouldn't have been here. Oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. They are very diligent about maintaining that, that social structure, that dominance hierarchy, that pecking order. 
So they can have six to eight offspring. Usually it's one at a time, but they can have twins. It's just extremely rare for them to have twins. And when they're born, they're born with what we call a natal coat, which is that black fur that you saw on the baby. The babies have jet black fur and pink skin. The iguanas crawling around, what do they do? They just, they seem to be ignoring it. Well, they have a bit of a peace treaty every once in a while. An iguana will grab a piece of fruit that they wanted. So they That's might so get a little sense. smack on the head or chased out. Go around and they're pretty relaxed around each other. Yeah, they don't see. There's a few in there. There's at least four. Oh, I see three now. Yeah. There's Those seven. I don't like. <laughs> and you're right. We do have two females with their babies. One right there and one up there. Oh, he, why did he smack her? Because he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> so age and size really don't matter when it comes to this dominance hierarchy. Those juveniles may be from a high ranking female and be allowed to be there and have more leeway than the monkeys that are waiting behind us. Now is that his mother he's with? It may be, but they really take care of all the infants together, so it might be. But it's not always. That's actually a male that he's following around. That's what I... He's looking for his daddy. Look how cute he is. They don't have the greatest paternal instincts. No, <laughs> no unfortunately not. They're kind of mama's boys. When one of them manages to move up in rank, the mother also moves up in rank. And any infants that she has from that point forward will also be of that higher rank. There's another little one over there. All the little ones are out today. I'm glad you guys are getting to see oh, the baby. new members of the family. Look at that little baby with the mother over She's there. cleaning him right now. <laughs> She's making sure he's okay. Oh, look at his little face. Do you see his little face? I would say they look like Benjamin Button. They look like little little old men when they're born. They're so cute. And eventually they stretch out. She's checking him out right oh, now for adorable. everything. You're going to love the video on that. They are so cute. He's clinging on to her. Look. Another way that a monkey can move up in rank, which Joseph figured out, along with many other scientists, was that if someone challenges the alpha and gets really bold and the alpha is dethroned, much like a king or... Right bringing in a new president. What is he doing? He, do? oh, he is he... messing with the iguana right now. Oh, did you see that, Jim? He's shaking the stick. Of course. That's interesting. Oh, let's see. Is he going to jump into the air? Oh, the fish one. But for reptiles, this is something new that we started offering Ooh. for these tours. So we have two exhibits with tortoises and an iguana. Okay, they have a section of Monkey Jungle that is for reptiles. Well, they eat lettuce. So you're going to just kind of toss it up here, Flo? Okay. Maybe the turtle will come. Wow. So my wife comes from a fisherman family, and she just is trying to... Jenny, did you get the lettuce stuck in his he spine? He threw it. I didn't do it, Eddie. <laughs> oh, okay. You can, you can move it up a bit. Can, you have to recast it. He's going to eat it, I think. Yeah, he's thinking about it. Was that a gopher tortoise? No, that's... So with the big guys, the tortoise, and the little ones, they're the red yeah. Okay, you're going to eat now, or this is not good? You want to uh, Yeah, honey, he's going for it. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, he's moving for it. Now, do you think he prefers honey mustard or Thousand Island, Janine? I don't know. He's looking for something. He wants some chicken. Oh, he said he wants French vinaigrette. I don't think he's interested. No. Oh, he's got another exhibit over here. He can okay. still use the lettuce, though. These guys are, uh, we got a whole big supply of tortoise right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, man, the guy? tortoise is going for it, Janine. Oh, here he comes, Jim. And this is called a Zucata. Here's the sign right there. Okay. You know, there's two of them. Yes. Oh, he's going for the food. Oh, he's eating the Here, lettuce. Jim, put this one out for the other guy. You have to back up like that against the walking dog. Ah, lettuce. He's eating the lettuce, Janine. Oh, they're both eating the lettuce. Do you think they got names? Do they have names? Oh, they just went oh, for each other. Oh, they're fighting over the lettuce. The turtle fight. This is, um, this is not what I expected here. This is much better. Okay, we're finding my best. Right? You think the monkey's going to steal her pocketbook? Janine, no. why would you take your pocketbook to... Because I didn't know we... You're going on a safari and you're taking your pocketbook? That's why I'm leaving it there. Okay, please. <laughs> okay, do not see. That means you can't eat them. 
<laughs> Thank you. That's why I'm leaving right there because I want to really enjoy it.